Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make these adorable little um, monkey pinch pots. So the first thing that we're going to do is when you go to the clay center, you're going to first get a clay board and you always work on the white side. You're going to get a cup that you're going to fill halfway with water. You're going to get a skewer, this long skinny stick. You're going to get something that you can cut with, one of these little, I call them knifey tools. And you are going to get some kind of a scratchy tool. It could be a fork. It could also be a tool like this. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take, you're going to get a piece of clay. So when you get back to your seat, um, you will have paper that you got from under the black arrow to keep your desk clean and then um, you will get started. So I'm going to give you a nice fresh piece of clay in the shape of a cube. We're going to start out to make the head of the monkey. We're going to make something called a pinch pot. Um, so you're going to start out by smacking it into the shape of a ball. Now you'll notice I'm not taking my hands and digging them into it to squish it smaller. If I do that, I can start to get air pockets in there and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna, with my palm, pat it into a nice ball shape. Now, once I get it into a nice round ball shape, and it doesn't have to be a perfect ball, you don't want to overwork it because the clay will be kind of dry if you do that. Um, once you get it into a nice round ball shape, you're going to put your thumb in the center and press down. Now you want to make sure that you press down far enough that um, there's only a little bit of space at the bottom. So you can kind of almost measure with your thumb about how deep that would be. But you don't want to go down so far that you wind up poking a hole in the center. So now that you have this, you're going to do what's called the pinching, which is why it's called a pinch pot. So I'm going to take this thumb and these fingers and I'm going to pinch, 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 pinch all the way around. Now when I do this, it's going to look a little weird at first. Then I can kind of go back in and I can shape it. So I like to kind of smooth the inside and make it a little more round. And I wanna make sure my walls are pretty even thickness. So I wanna press the bottom a little bit more to make sure that it is not um, really thick on the bottom and then really skinny on top. I don't wanna ever see you pinching so skinny at the top there like that because that will wind up cracking. So once you have sort of the basic shape of your pinch pot, um, you can start adding some of the kind of decorative elements. So the first thing that we're going to add to this is going to be our monkey's ears. So you're gonna go over to the clay bin and you're gonna get a piece of clay. Now you first have to do something called wedging when you get clay from the bin. So if you'll notice, I moved my water cup aside so that I don't wind up splashing when I do this. But you're gonna throw it down, pick it up, rotate it, throw it down, pick it up, rotate it. And this is gonna be pretty noisy. Now I don't want you to throw it down so hard that you wind up getting a pancake but I'm compressing the clay and getting rid of any air pockets that there might be. Now I'm gonna pinch two ball shapes and I'm gonna roll my two different ball shapes. I'm gonna make sure they're about the same size. This one's a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna kinda of take that off. And then I'm gonna flatten them a little bit with the heel of my hand. Now you don't want them to be too skinny because if they're too skinny, they will crack and break. Now I'm going to be attaching them to the side of the vase. So 
I am going to grab any type of scratchy tool. It could be a fork, it could be my skewer, it could be um, this little wooden tool, and I'm gonna do something called scoring. So I'm gonna scratch on this side. I'm also gonna scratch on this side. Then I'm gonna take a little water, and when that mixes with the clay, it gets kind of muddy, that's called slip. And then I'm gonna press it on. Now when I go to press hard, I'm gonna put my fingers on the inside so that I don't wind up squishing the wall in. And then I'm just gonna blend it nice with my finger. And this part is so fun and satisfying. <laughs> now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. The next thing I'm going to do is just to give the ears a little bit of shape, I'm going to kind of press my thumbs in and draw a little line. So now I have my ears attached. So now I'm gonna press in my thumb and press in my thumb. And you can get as detailed as you want with the little inside parts of the ear. You can do that any way you like. If you have any areas that are a little cracked looking, you can rub them by dipping your finger in some water and it smooths them right out. The next thing that we wanna do is we want to make the monkey's face. So start out by just smoothing this. You can smooth it with a little bit of water if you want, but don't worry about making it too perfect because you're gonna to have to smooth it again when you add your other pieces. So I want to begin by making a little muzzle for my monkey. So I'm gonna again take a little bit of that wedged clay. I'm gonna roll a little ball. Now when I go to attach this, do you remember what I have to do? Ah, uh, yes, I have to score both sides. Now, because if I don't do this, it might stick right now while it's still wet, but once it starts to dry, it's gonna fall right off, and we don't want that to happen. So the scoring works like Velcro with the two rough sides, and the slip works like glue. And I'm just gonna kind of blend this on to make that little muzzle. Okay, now, that I have that, okay, you see that from the side. I wanna make my monkey's eyes, so I am going to make two little ball shapes. Again, I got a slip and score to add those. And when I'm doing this, I also wanna think about what expression or emotion do I want my monkey to be showing? Do I want the monkey to look happy, surprised, scared, angry, um, whatever, sad, whatever you want. And you're gonna make the expression kind of match that. So I'm gonna slip score and blend a little bit. Now, when I go to do the monkey nose, I am going to take sort of knifey tool and I'm just gonna press side and side Whoops, there was a little dry clay on there. And then I'm gonna just smooth it out. So that's gonna make almost like a little bridge on the nose. If you look at the, this picture here, they have like a little bridge to their nose. And then I'm gonna take my skewer and I'm gonna go in and in to kind of make little nostrils. Okay, now that I have my eyes attached, I can go in to make a pupil in the center. Um, and I can add any type of kind of expressive elements that I want to that. Like if I wanted him to look angry, I could roll a little coil and I could slip score and blend some angry eyebrows on. Um, I could do little eyelashes. I can, then I wanna think about my mouth. So if I want the monkey to look kind of happy, I can draw like a smile shape. I can also have the mouth look a little bit open so I can kind of cut into it a little and I can shape it that way. Um, there's really so many different things that you can do. Um, the last thing we also want to do though is just once you have your face the way that you want, you want to draw the line between the monkey's skin on their face and their fur. 
and then you're gonna go in and add texture for their fur. So you can do this with a fork, you can do this with a skewer, you can do this with a scratchy tool, but anywhere where there would be fur. So it wouldn't be on the ears, really. It wouldn't be on the face. It would be more the back of the head, the side of these lines. And depending on the type of monkey, you wanna make it would either be short hair, which would be little lines, or a longer hair monkey would be longer lines. And those are just our basics on how to make our monkey. Um, and remember, when you're all done, if you just wanna touch anything up, you can just dip your finger in water, give it a little smooth, and um, make sure you have lots of fun and be creative.